Welcome back. The Muslim Film Festival is underway here in Milwaukee. Taylor Lumpkin shows us how the festival uses the power of film to shine a light on an underrepresented community. The Milwaukee Muslim Film Festival is back and ready to bring some thought provoking conversations to the table about the Muslim community and the Muslim world one film at a time. Any form of art, it's, it's sort of a common language between people. Four days, eight films, one goal to share and tell the stories of Muslims around the world through a lens that captures their struggles, triumphs and perseverance. This is uh, the kind of um, the kind of opportunity that really opens people's eyes to to other cultures, to other understandings, to to a deeper understanding of certain subjects. The Film Fest is returning for its sixth year in Milwaukee after it was originally started in 2015 to help people better understand the Muslim community. Islamophobia was kind of ramping up in this country and we wanted to provide new opportunities to uh, have a discourse. One of the films that will be featured during the festival will be the city of Ali, a documentary that tells the story of how the death of Muhammad Ali brought the people of his Kentucky hometown and the world together for one unforgettable week. Muhammad Ali's daughter uh, watched our film and said she learned things about her dad that she didn't know. Graham Shelby, the director of the film, says he and his crew worked on the documentary for five years and says he's excited to show how one Muslim man was able to unite an entire nation. Well, the inspiration for the film was we wanted to both preserve and, and commemorate that moment and that feeling and uh, try to create a film that told that story. Other features that will be shown include dramas, short films and more. Event organizers add that you must show proof of vaccination or provide a negative COVID-19 test to be admitted inside the Oriental Theater and tickets can be bought online or at the door. In Milwaukee, Taylor Lumpkin, TMJ4 News.